I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll discuss domain and range of a rational function. The question is write domain and range of y equals to minus 2 over x squared plus 1. Now we are not discussing how to sketch this function but I'll sketch it quickly so that we can get to the main question which is to find domain and range. Correct? As we can see the denominator is never 0. x squared plus 1 is always positive it will never cross the line that is the x-axis so there are no zeros for the denominator and therefore we do not expect a vertical x asymptote for the reciprocal of this function however we see the numerator has got minus 2 that means this parabola is reflected so we expect a graph which would be kind of like this right I'm right drawing it much bigger uh, just to figure out how the domain and range should be. Now when you draw it to get accurate values what you can do is you can find make a table of values I will suggest that for you since you know that it has it is symmetric about the y-axis you could take values on one side and then find the y values so these are some hints for you so that you can quickly get to a good graph so good values to take is x equals to 0. So if I write x equals to 0 here, I get minus 2 over 1. So I get y value of minus 2. So at 0, I have minus 2. Correct? If I take x equals to 1, in that case, it will be 1 plus 1, which is 2. Minus 2 divided by 2 will be minus 1. So at x equals to 1, let's say 1, I have a value which let me say this point is good so let me take this as 1 okay at x equals to 1 y value is 1 so I get that value similarly from symmetry if I take minus 1 minus 1 square is plus 1 so we get minus 2 which will also give me minus 1 as the y value minus 2 divided by 2 correct so likewise you can also get other points Let's take a value which is very large, for example. Let's take x as 10, for example. So it will be 100. So minus 2 over 101 will be a very small number, but negative. So we can say that's kind of approaching towards 0, right? So that is, that is how we get our graph. The question really is to find domain range of this function, right? So domain, we see there is no discontinuity, right? So domain for the function is that x belongs to real numbers. My recommendation is that you can actually take a lot of values, at least 7, 8, and make a very accurate graph. But if the question is domain and range, we should not waste our time on that. That minus 2 helps, so take few, so that you are clear that we are actually sketching it like I have sketched, right? And now let's write down the range. This is critical part. Now we have many videos where people talk about domain of rational functions. There are very few videos who really talk about range of rational functions in the YouTube world also. Now here in my videos there are many. So look into those and understand. Now range for this particular function as you can see is y belongs to real numbers and y is greater than 0, right? y is greater than 0. It is never equal to but less than equal to minus 2. So it is between two values. And therefore you can see rational functions range at times can be bound from both the sides, unlike the polynomial functions. And that's also a difference between the two, right? So I hope with this you learn and appreciate uh, characteristics of rational function. Thank you and all the best.